Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia, and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Planning has always been my way of working out problems and solving the day-to-day -day issues in my life. Join me as I experiment on how to best tackle projects, figure out how to stick with habit tracking, and celebrate the wins, both big and small. So grab a cup or a glass of whatevs, and let's get on with the video. Structured planning versus non-structured planning or dated versus non-dated planning. Um, these can be umbrella terms and a lot can fit underneath that. So what I'm talking about is <laughs> people who feel like they have to plan every day versus people who plan most days or most weeks. Here on YouTube, um, I've been watching since the beginning and I think at the time she was in a standard traveler's notebook and she had an all black, white, gray color scheme, which, you know, are the colors of my life and I was loving it. <laughs> and then she switched over to a Moleskine daily and as YouTubers, we tend to, especially in the planning community, make things look really appealing. And she did. She absolutely made the dailies of the Moleskine look appealing, even though I'd had it before, it didn't work for me. And I'd had, I think, the A6, what is it called? The original? The one that has the dailies in it. Is that... I forget. You know what I'm talking about. And those I fell off of really, really hard. And when you go through 365 days of the year and you only use about 47 of those days, it feels like a waste of money and a lot of anxiety that you just don't need. So I basically abandoned <laughs> having structured daily pages. But because I liked her system, I forgot that Moleskine makes the weeklies. And that's sort of why I chose to get the weeks because I thought, oh, I want something in pocket size because this is a nice size of planning for me, especially if I decided to take it on the go. Um, but I, I'm not a daily person. So <laughs> that is why I decided to go with these Moleskine little notebooks where I could choose what days I needed to use dailies in a bullet journal style and then not use dailies if that's not something I needed to do. It feels less wasteful. It feels like there are times when I need a structured system where things are dated like in my everyday carry and I try at least to have one dated planner. Usually I have several this year. <laughs> I have two this um, Hobonichi Mega Weeks and then of course my Moleskine Weekly. Now my struggle with having structure is that it doesn't always work out for me. Like for instance, remember when I was like, oh I have to have I have to have these monthlies and I need to change them because they're too tiny and I'm gonna draw this out and I'm gonna stencil things and I'm going to, you know, uh, stamp things because I'm the world's best stamper and I'm going to, you know, put stickers down. I'm not even utilizing my monthly. So this year in 2023, I really needed to figure out what my habits are when it comes to planning, why I abandon things, why sometimes things work one minute and they don't the next. Is it just because I am a planner addict and I have to have all of the things? And I think the answer is no, it's, it's really not. So let me know down below why you think you're a planner addict and I think I'm finally starting to understand and get a handle on things. So my system for 2023 is basically this this and this and I try not to say three planners because they're all kind of separate in a way. Um, I don't consider this a planner. I just I have struggles utilizing the monthlies in my planners because they are so much smaller than I'm used to and because of that it's just hard for me to pack a bunch of stuff in these little boxes here and of course on the monthly in the Hobonichi uh, weeks. I just, I struggle with it. And for my writing, I just need a big printable uh, that I can go ahead and just think things through and write them down on a calendar. And I just didn't want another bullet journal and I don't consider my writing um, journal a planner, although I do put dates in there. So for instance, I might put January 20th because that's what day we're on. And then I might make some notes about I found some 
Like the other day I found some missing um, chapters that weren't part of my manuscript because I wasn't sure where to put them and I couldn't remember where I actually put that file. I found them and I actually am going to be able to incorporate them into my novel and I was so excited about that. And so I made a note of that and how I was going to kind of weave them through. I kind of worked that out on the page. But then if the next day I just want to make some notes about random things or I want to do some morning pages, I don't have to put a date on that, then it's just a notebook. And it's not that serious and it still stays non-structured or non-dated. The issues that I have and the things that I've learned is this. Um, I am having struggles with something that should be very simple. Let me put this off to the side for a minute. So here we have my structured planner and I don't understand why I haven't gone through and just filled out the month of January, right? I know that this is the style that I like. I put a line here, I have a section for schedule, memories. Then I usually have a section for cleaning, meal planning, and then miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is usually where I put things that I want to do more than once a week. My tracker, if you will. <laughs> so I don't understand if this is the setup I like, why I don't just fill it out for the rest of the week, but here's the thing. I found myself putting a sticky note, I'll just use this one, um, on this week and I started to put things that I wanted to do for this week on the sticky note and I don't like at first I couldn't figure out why I kept doing that I mean it's it's predated I can literally just fill it in and if you've been watching my channel for a while you know me you know that I don't I don't like to decorate things like this I put some stickers down here these are by the way rub on stickers that is the company. I love these. Um, they are, well, this one is 063 in case you were interested. These are fall and autumn. And yes, we are in winter, but this is the closest I could get. Um, I usually don't buy wintry things because a lot of times they have like Christmassy stuff or red and green, which colors should just not ever go together. <laughs> so I probably didn't buy them, but I, they're really easy to stick down and rub on. So it's not that serious. They also allow me to go ahead and fill up these little bits of holes that I have here and there. So I feel better about my life, especially last week where we had a snowstorm for five days. So it was like one, two, three, four, five. And then this day the sun finally came out. And so I was just feeling anxiety that I didn't plan here. So that's another thing that I needed to focus on and try to understand. Why is it that sometimes I don't plan? Is it anxiety? Is it stress? Is it avoidance? What's happening? I know that by, let's see, my dailies in here, I started on, I think, the 8th or the 9th? Um, yeah, on the 9th. Because at some point on the 9th, I was like, oh my gosh, no, I need some dailies. I want to start some new habits. And that means that I need structure. So I decided I needed to incorporate dailies, even though I only had two weekly planners. So I started doing the dailies. I started to wake up early. I tried to do the whole um, 5 a.m. club situation. I struggle at waking up at 5 a.m. It's definitely something I need to work up to. So I've been setting my alarm clock at six and usually waking up when it um, it goes off or a little bit earlier, but I can't seem to always wake up at five. I've done it like maybe three, four times, but not the entire month of January. So working on waking up early and I'm just trying to get back into my routine. So what I found out is once I get into a groove with my routine, I don't need to plan things. I don't need to write shit out. I just, I'm in the groove, I get stuff done. So these days when I was at home, I was already in my groove. And so I knew that I needed to get up, I needed to do my exercises, and I needed to get to writing. After I'm done writing for a little bit, I usually have a breakfast or, you know, I'm finally awake enough to have like <laughs> some tea, something other than water. And then I walk around again and stretch and I get back to work. Then at some point I take a break and I do all of the cleaning for the day. I might start to make lunch and then I go and I do my editing if I don't have other writing to do. And I kept doing that. I did that here, 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 and here. And I didn't write it in here because this is not for writing. I usually write that in my journal where I'm like, you know, dear diary, just kidding. Um, but I'll write the date and then I'll write, you know, what I worked on for that day. And so for me, this wasn't avoidance. It was just, I didn't need to write it down. I didn't need to have a plan. I knew what to do. Sometimes when I'm planning, it's because I have a lot of anxiety and having a plan or seven, uh, <laughs> 
helps me feel like I have more control and that I will get back on track, especially if I'm off of track with something. And so understanding why you plan and when you plan is really important. And that's something I focused a lot on at the beginning of this year. So back to the struggle with this. I don't understand why <laughs> I can't seem to go ahead and plan in advance because that's what's the beauty of having a dated planner. You can just go ahead and sit down and write in, okay, um, on January the 1st, I'm going to the chiropractor on the, you know, whatever, especially if I already understand what my system's going to be. And even if I only do it for a month at a time. So if the next month comes and I want to switch up how this looks, I can do that. Now that I've had some time to sit back and review <laughs> my dailies, my weeklies, my planning system as a whole, I realize that because I'm used to having a bullet journal and I'm used to going into a bullet journal at some point, I still feel like even in a structured dated planner, like I'm in a bullet journal and I have to <laughs> kind of forward plan on sticky notes or whatever because you usually don't have the week or the next month set up to go ahead and fill out. And that's not like something new, but it was such a revelation to me that I started looking at my dailies because yesterday I didn't plan. And that's why I started like to really sit down and think about why, why didn't you plan yesterday, Sylvia? Today is January the 20th, it's Friday. And then yesterday, the 19th, I didn't plan at all. Now I have this page covered because I was trying out something different and I put personal information on here <laughs> and I just didn't want to share it. And so I just covered it. It's not that serious, but mostly I decided I need a little bit of structure. So I kind of put some separations here and there. The top for my top three things, here's where time blocking goes. And then these are just like little bits and tasks throughout the day. So the time blocking is not for me to block every second minute of my life because that would drive me insane and that's really just not who I am as a person. However, I do like to block when I started writing and um, mostly like just the writing routine in general throughout the day to sort of see what those patterns are. For me, that's one of the most important things that I can do as far as habit tracking is concerned. So um, I had to sit down and ask myself what happened? Why didn't I plan yesterday? Well, these little stickers <laughs> I ended up getting from Amazon um, and they're great. They're inexpensive. I got them on sale and I love them because they're teeny tiny. This is a pocket size, um, by the way. And so they just don't take up very much space, which is great. And for some reason, Sylvia from the past was like around, I don't know, the 13th or the 14th. I decided, oh yeah, this is working out great. And I, instead of just allowing myself to put a sticker down when I needed the date, I went ahead and stickered the shit out of the whole month, you guys. And I took an unstructured planner and made it structured. Now it's, it's a daily thing. And my brain was like, what? And as soon as I did that and the storm hit, <laughs> And those days I didn't really need to plan, I felt pretty resentful because here I was writing things down when I didn't in the weekly because I didn't, I was in a group. I didn't need to write it down. I saw that shit needed to get done and I got it done and I kicked those days in the ass. So what I'm learning is there's something in my brain and maybe in your brain as a planner addict that says, I like the idea of having structure, but I'm not going to treat it like it's structured, you know, because some, for some reason that's going to like you know, boggle me down or whatever. And it's going to cause me anxiety. So I just, I approach it as if it's a bullet journal, even though it's not. And with the dailies, I don't tend to use more than one day per page. It's not that serious. Y'all know how I feel about dailies. They're really just throw away things for me. I don't care to keep them. I don't need to archive them. They're good for the day, maybe the month. And that's about it. So when I put down the sticker, I was telling my brain that this is all the space that you get. And my brain was like, no, 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 I need more space than this. So on YouTube, the part of the reason why I didn't go with the dailies is because I've had them in the past. And yeah, it was cool for a little bit, but then some days I would need two pages and I wouldn't have them. And there's a lot of things you can do, even with the system I have now. Like, let's say that I didn't use um, the 13th. 
which I did, but I wrote some personal information. On this day, it was a snow day, and I finally had time to sit down and call and cancel some credit cards that I haven't even been using for a while. I was just avoiding it because it sucks time out of your life <laughs> and energy, and they won't allow you to do it online, and maybe part of that is for your own protection, but yeah, it was rough. But let's say I didn't use the 13th. I could always do a, a bullet journal hack where you you know, thread this day to the 13th. And so the, the 25th would be on this page as well as this page because it was blank. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it's very logical. But sometimes my brain's like, no, you can't do that. Or no, I don't want to go back. These pages have already been used and I've written them off. And so I forget to go there. I forget to use those blank pages. And so it's, it's a rewiring of the brain. I understand that it's my personal brain and maybe other people's as well. But there's something about putting a sticker down and saying you only get one page that really messed me up and it caused me to have anxiety and it caused me to like not want to plan in here for that day. And I was like, oh, Sylvia, why would you do this to yourself? So coming back to structured versus non-structured, dated versus non-dated, I think this is part of the reason why as a planner addict, sometimes things like this will work for me for the week or the month, and then it doesn't anymore. Some days, some weeks, some months are more structured than others. And then I just feel like I need something that's a little bit lighter. Sometimes I feel like I need more structure and I needed to plan out the days and get down to a routine like this. And it really helped me. And then once I had it, I didn't need it anymore. I didn't need to write it out every single day, but I continued to do so just because <laughs> I dated the damn pages. <laughs> so I'm, I'm stuck in this sort of situation where, yeah, I learned something and that's pretty awesome. <laughs> and I'm going to try to be more aware of it from now on. But I, I've already dated the damn pages. So obviously, for the most part, I'm going to write in them. And I know you're, what you're thinking. is like, you don't have to do it. I'm going to do it because I'm a completionist at heart. And it's going to bother me and it's going to drive me insane. So this is why I always tell you guys that like <laughs> when you're watching my videos, I know sometimes I'm really good at selling things to people and I'll have somebody comment, oh, I was in an A6 because I really like the style and now you're not in it anymore. Um, I'm like, yeah, you should follow like my system and not what I'm actually in and take what you like and leave what you don't. That's super important because our brains all work differently. There are some people that can stick with a daily every single day and have no issue with it. For my irrational brain, <laughs> it needs to believe that it doesn't have certain structure about some things and then it needs to have structure about others. And sometimes that's going to vary. With the dailies, I really screwed myself over. I won't do this again. I will just continue to take out the sticker and slap it down, even if it is every day in a row for 30 or 31 days, depending on the month. Because as soon as this happened, I was like, ah, mental block. <laughs> And I just couldn't like function as a person, which is pretty, pretty funny. Um, I think that's everything that I wanted to say about this. So yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just like at the beginning of the year, because there's just so much going on with my niece in school and so many events to go to, I need more of a dated planner, more structure. And now I'm getting to that point where I think I can finally handle a bullet journal because things are kind of calming down. And so I'm also noticing that about myself. It's like, oh, okay, I abandon planners sometimes because I just have more time to be free and enjoy the beauty and fun of a bullet journal. And sometimes I can't handle getting it together to just draw out a daily page or a weekly page. And I know that if you follow the writer Carol style, which he doesn't really do weeklies like that, um, <laughs> you could just, you know, be simple and free with it. But that's not who I am as a person. I always have to do a little extra. I still consider myself a minimalist, but minimalist we, we find means different things to different people. I'm not gonna draw out a dragon, but still, um, sometimes what I do, people are like, that's really great. I don't think I'm gonna get it together. And I understand. So those are my thoughts and feelings um, about why I'm having some anxiety and things. And also to let you know that sometimes when you're not planning, it's not because there's something wrong. It's not because you're just kind of like sucking at life. It's just maybe you're in a groove and you don't need to write shit down. Your body just knows what to do. Your brain knows what to do. I am basically in a place with my writing where <laughs> I just write in my journal 
like you know whatever day it is I write down what I did and then I write down what the, what the next thing I need to do is so that when I sit down and it's open at my desk I just read what the next thing is that I need to do and I get started so it's not me sitting down for an hour and dinking around and looking on the internet figuring out what am I supposed to do I kind of already know and once my writing gets done, the rest of the day, especially when you wake up early, that's part of the 5 a.m. club, the rest of the day just sort of falls in line. <laughs> that makes sense. And I'm finding I don't need a planner because I'm having less anxiety about my day and about what needs to be done. So again, let me know down below if any of this makes sense to you. It's always important for me to come on here and kind of chat with you guys about this stuff because it helps me think things through um, and realize that I'm not so crazy. I mean, still a little crazy, but not so crazy. And that is everything. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.